What's good people? I'm back with another video. I recently made a university advice type of video and you guys seem to like it. So I'm back again with the advice. Sham is back. Back again. Tell a friend. I, I don't know why I'm doing that. What is my problem? If this is your first time on my channel, what are you waiting for? Go on, pop that cherry, pop, pop, pop. Subscribe to the channel and hit the little notification bell because it will tell you exactly when my next video comes out. On to today's video, I have some more uni wisdom to shower you with. You are absolutely welcome. If you've just started university and you're going through those first few weeks of seeing everyone, meeting them and seeing what they're about, relax yourself. You can't trust any of these people. Nah, I'm kidding. You'll meet some people that you actually like and, you know, make friends for life. But not everyone is worth your time. I'm gonna let you know the kind of people that you, yes, you, need to keep away from. I sound like your dad. Stay away from those nasty children, you hear me? Cut a long story short, if you see these people coming, run. Run the other way. Seriously, you have been warned. <laughs> Number one, Mr. B.O. And the reason I say Mr. is because, well, let's be honest, it will be a guy. You can usually smell them from a mile away. This is the guy that turns up to lectures in the same sweaty old clothes. Like, back off, mate. Don't be coming near me. Are you from EastEnders or something that you don't own a washing machine? Like, what's your excuse, mate? This guy be out here wearing the same dirty clothes all semester. You just know that if you and your friends walk into a lecture and this guy's there, you're gonna step out of the lecture hall, walk all the way around the building and come in through another door just so you don't have to sit next to this guy. If I wanted to smell I'd sniff my A-level results, mate. Number two, Mr. BS. If there's anything worse than Mr. B.O., it's Mr. BS. Now, unlike the last one, this one isn't exclusive to males and you're gonna need something a lot stronger. This ain't strong enough. You're gonna need to get out some antibacterial or shit to deal with this walk-in vermin. This student will tell you the biggest BS to your face and expect you to believe it. If you've done something in your life that you're proud of, who do you think you are? Relax yourself. This guy's done better. Nah, so for Freshers Week, my boy flew me out to Dubai. I was in Dubai and Drake turned up and he was asking about me and calling me over to the VIP section. I was like, nah, bro, I'm cool out here. You know what I mean? And some people, not me, bro, but some people were saying that Rihanna was in the room next door and she was asking about me as well. Uh, you, but you know me, bro, I ain't want to make stuff up. Number three, the stress head. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I haven't even revised yet. What are we gonna do? Nah, bruv, you mean what are you gonna do? This is the last person you wanna surround yourself with at uni, I'm telling you. This guy will stress about lectures. This guy will stress about exams. And hey, I can almost guarantee that this guy will stress about graduation. Yeah, graduation. You know, one of the most fun times of your life. But this guy will find something to worry about. Oh, we have to give the gown back at five. Come on, we only have 30 minutes left to take pictures. Mate, calm down. Number four, the mature student. Oh, where's the mature student? Where's the mature student? Oh, oh, right at the front is where they are. The mature student is the one student who actually wants to be there. They've either came off a gap year, returned to education for some reason, or this is like their third degree course for some reason, you know, they're just doing degrees for bants. They have the drive and passion you wish you had. This is the student that will stand outside of the lecture hall half an hour early every time. Oh, Iqbal, what are you doing here? The lecture starts at nine. Oh, it's okay. Are you sure? I mean, it's only eight o'clock. There's still like an hour to go. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Right. Just a disclaimer, I went to the University of Liverpool and I can assure you that there were no Iqbals there. Would have been lucky to get a Bilal there, never mind an Iqbal. It was more of a Lucy kind of university than a Ikra or Habiba type of uni, you know? The mature student is the student that answers every question. And how do they know these answers? Because they've been here before. 
Nobody likes a show off. I wouldn't say avoid this student. If anything, if you actually want to do well on the course, you know, you should probably be becoming friends with this guy because they are the kind of person that's always going to be one step ahead of everyone else. Number five, the bitter one. <sighs> This is that boy or girl who still can't quite believe that they didn't get into their first choice uni and now they're having to slum it with the little people at their reserve option. Oxford don't want me. What do you mean Oxford don't want me? I don't want them. I don't need them. I'm perfectly fine about that. They'll look down at everyone and everything at your uni. I mean, get out of here with that negative energy. Number six, the disaster waiting to happen. For this student, the party never ends. They are living their best life and they'll quite happily tell you that right after they've thrown up on your new Balenciaga trainers. And let's be honest, anyone that doesn't respect your footwear collection is no friend of yours, drunk or not. This is the person that you have to look after on a night out. They're an absolute liability. They're a ticking time bomb and trust me, you don't want to be anywhere near them when they go off. Number seven, the lecturer. I know what you're thinking, this ain't a student. Oh, but it is. This student is the student that gives you more lectures than your actual lecturer. They be out here giving more sermons than Martin Luther King. They're like the Ned Stark of giving lectures. The man who passes the sentence should swing the sword. All right, we get it. Number eight, the rich kid. This student doesn't even need to be there. Nine grand uni fees is basically pocket money for them. And whatever you do, don't ask them about their gap year because you could be here for some time. Oh, so this one time on my gap year. Oh, so did I ever tell you about this one time on my gap year? You know, speaking of dolphins, I remember one time on my gap year. Please stop. Number nine, the latecomer. This person was even late on this list. I mean, come on. This is that student or group of students that sneak into class late, which is completely fine, you know, if it's every now and again, but these guys will always be late. It doesn't matter if it's a morning or afternoon lecture, the latecomer will always just casually walk in holding a Starbucks coffee cup in one hand and a pack of no given in the other. It doesn't take a genius to work out why they're always late. And finally, number 10, the social butterfly. You know how the rest of us are here to get a degree? Yeah, well, this person is not. They're here for the banter. This person is here to meet you and watch you get your degree. You can find them anywhere across campus, except the lecture hall, you know, where the actual learning happens. They've come to spread their wings and create lots of social circles. They'll mingle with just about anyone. You know, you'll probably see them with a different person or group of people every time you bump into them. They are the social butterfly. They were born this way, baby. Just let them fly away. Away. And those, my friends, are the types of students you'll need to keep away from at uni. Comment below and let me know if there's any you can think of. Are you any of those types of students? Please drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. It really helps out my channel. And share it with your friends and family or anyone you know that's at uni or going to uni soon. I promise the next video won't be about university, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel for more and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.